Hey everyone, and welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft. Today we're going to be working on getting the materials for a gold farm, a bartering farm, and a raid farm. And then we're probably going to actually build the first two of those. I'll probably do the raid farm in the next episode, but the first two I'll do today. And then once I have all three of those done by the next episode, I will have access to way more supplies and blocks. So I pretty much had everything for the gold farm already. I just had to go find some turtle eggs. So I went and bred some turtles and got some of those. And for the barding farm, I needed a brewing stand. So I went to the nether to look for a fortress. This will also be a good time to grab some nether wart so we can start making some potions which will help us with fighting things like the Wither and the Ender Dragon. I don't want to take any risks with those, so I'm definitely going to probably bring some potions to both of those fights. So I ended up finding a fortress pretty quick, and literally the first room I went into had a blaze spawner, so I made a little killing chamber thing and grabbed a few blaze rods for a brewing stand. Whenever I end up needing more blaze rods, I'll probably turn this into a proper blaze spawner farm so that we can get more blaze rods. I then went to find some other wart, which also didn't take very long, so I grabbed as much as I could here and went back to base. Ended up making a few bring stands and leaving one in our base here so that I can use them for potions. And also, since I found some nether wart, I ended up making a little nether wart farm here so that I can start gathering that. Again, I'll probably make a better farm later, but for now that's good. Also been going crazy with resource gathering, I'm just going to finish that up and then we can start building the farms. So after a few hours of gathering stuff, now we have all the resources for all three farms. I think the hardest one to finish was the bartering farm because of all the chests and hoppers needed. Now that that's all done, I'm going to start building the gold farm.
All right, and that's the gold farm done. If you guys are interested in building this, check out ENXO4's channel, and I'll have the link to the video in the description. As I didn't have a lot of access to magma blocks yet, I decided to make an active farm, but once we get a lot of magma blocks later, I'll make a farm that is AFKable. This one's also AFKable, but not to the same extent as the ones that you can make with magma blocks. You can just let these guys die to entity cramming, but then it's a lot slower compared to the other type of farm. And now with that farm out of the way, I'm gonna do the bartering farm now, so here comes another time lapse. Now that farm's done. To get the piglins, I've just been going up and down this scaffolding here and trying to get them to spawn on this platform. Then I get them to follow me under that dispenser and then I put a jack lantern on their head so they don't despawn. Then I break the block below them and put them into the little pod for trading. And as for this farm, this is from Logical Geek Boy, so if you guys are interested in this one, check out his channel and I'll also have the link to that in the description. I'm just gonna finish up getting the piglins and then I will show you guys the farm in action. So I just brought a little bit of gold from the gold farm, so I'm just gonna throw this in here and then we will see how it does. I'm also only putting enough in for one trade at a time right now because I don't have the hopper sorter set up yet, so I'm gonna try and grab the items by hand, which will allow me to set up the sorters. Also pretty surprised on how many items you get per trade, it gives you quite a bit. This farm is also pretty nice because I'll probably never have to mine obsidian again, which I've been mining a lot of it for the farms to make portals, so that'll be nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna set up the filters and then I'll show you guys the farm running for a little bit. So here's a couple cycles of the farm where they get shot a bunch of gold and then they throw their items along that ice, which all get picked up by the hoppers. Then any overflow goes either into the fire or into the overflow chest for the books and boots. Now that we were done that, I could break the chests, and now all we have left to do is the raid farm. After I finished that, I went and grabbed a lot more gold at the gold farm, and I'm gonna throw that all in the bartering farm and see how many items we get. So the farm's still running right now, but it's given us quite a few items already. I also like how many different items we get, like I'll probably never have to go for ender pearls to start the portal for the end, since I'll just have a supply of them already here. 
Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode.